What's going on my brothers? Today's video marks the first in a new mini series that is going to take up roughly the next two weeks or so on this channel. And that mini series is called The Path to Prosperity. And if you haven't already guessed, The Path to Prosperity is about all the different ways that young men can make money in today's ever changing world. Now, it's important to note that most of these money making opportunities will be online. Some of them I've done in the past, some of them I'm doing right now, and the others I plan to do in the future. And I'll let you know as we go through the series, which ones they are. So one of the key selection criteria, one I was looking at all these potential income streams to share with you is that they were scalable. What that means is they can increase, which means that if you put extra work in or if you strategize in the correct way, then you can actually increase your income exponentially. And what that means is if your income streams have the potential for scalability and to grow, it means that you can keep up with tough economic times, which is what we are in right now in most countries. Everything's getting more expensive and there's no real signs of it slowing down just yet. And one of the other selection criteria for these income streams ideas is that it was online because let's face it online income streams are fairly handy if you know how to create them and some but not all of these income stream ideas are actually passive which means that if you put in the work at the start then you'll set yourself up to receive money later there's no such thing as true passive income where you get paid for doing nothing every form of income requires you to do work at some point in time so with what are called passive income streams you just put the work in beforehand and then eventually you get paid for that work later down the line I was thinking about how I could divide these income streams into various categories so that it would be easier to distinguish them. And what I settled on was dividing them into low skill and high skill. Now, there is some gray area with this, so I'll have to explain on a case-by-case -case basis with each income stream idea. So the first half of this mini series, The Path to Prosperity, is gonna be focused on what I would deem the lower skill income opportunities. Now, just because they're called low skill opportunities does not mean they are actually that easy. But what it does mean is that there's a lower barrier for entry. So it might actually be easier just to get started. The income stream ideas in the low skill section still offer their own challenges, which could be competition. Because they are low barrier to entry, it means that it's much more likely that there are gonna be a lot of other people competing with you. So seeing as this is episode one of The Path to Prosperity, let's dive right in. And the first of our low skill opportunities is getting a second job. I know, sounds simple, right? The thing is, getting a second job has a lot of unseen benefits and pitfalls that people may not realize. And I'm speaking from personal experience because right now this is a form of extra income that I am currently utilizing. Now, one of the good things about getting a second job is the low barrier to entry. And this obviously depends on what that second job is. One of the negatives is that it is dependent on your time. This is a form of active income. You're trading your time for money here, so there isn't really much potential for scalability unless you dedicate more time to one of the two jobs or to both or if you get a promotion to a higher paid position and I will add a little extra Easter egg here in that instead of getting a second job you could potentially upskill or ask for a promotion at your current job now a friend of mine actually went through this and he got a pay rise simply by asking for it he went to his employer he said this is what I bring to the company this is how much inflation is I think it's fair that I receive this much of an increase in my pay and the employer agreed so if you're working a stable job and you don't think you can dedicate more time to it but there's a potential to get promoted or to get a pay rise, I would explore that potential if I were you. There's nothing wrong with asking, but assuming you don't wanna do that and you wanna look at getting a second job, then that's also an option as well. And keep in mind, if you get a second job, it can be in a totally different area to your first job, which could open things up for you to work with new people, get fresh ideas, fresh experiences, and fresh perspectives. And another thing that having two jobs will give you is a form of diversification and stability, because you know that if one of your jobs goes to shit, then you'll have the second job to fall back on. If someone has just one job, they don't have this luxury. Your work could fire you tomorrow and there's not really much you could do about it. And we know that the only real guarantee is that nothing is guaranteed. Not only will having a second job result in diversification and an increase in your income, but you'll be able to pay off debts and also invest in other things that are gonna make you even more money. So it is kind of a double-edged sword. You might be thinking, well, I've got a lot less time. I'm gonna be a lot more tired, but I'm gonna have a lot more money and my financial stress might be eased. So speaking from personal experience, one of my jobs is in shifts because I I work for somebody else, but the other job is where I'm an independent contractor. So this is my job as a personal trainer because I decide on the hours and the times that I can meet with clients and train them, which gives me flexibility to then arrange the personal training sessions around the shift work of the other job. The only real downside is apart from yes, extra time, extra energy is spent on having two jobs instead of one. There's also the travel time. The commute can be tough. So if you can find a way to have two jobs that are relatively close to each other, I highly recommend that because 
because when they're not, it is kind of tough. And that being said, it's also important that you find a good amount of time to balance out this hectic work schedule to give yourself the opportunity to rest and recover. There's nothing worse than getting home at 9.30, maybe shooting a couple YouTube videos or doing some editing, right? Then you get to bed by 12, 1 a.m. and then you have to get up at 5.30 a.m. because you have a morning shift at the other job. Trust me, it sucks. But I'm gonna keep doing it because I knew the trade-off before I signed up for this. Now, how do you know if this is the option for you? Well, I would say it should align with your personal objectives and your circumstances. If you don't have the freedom to travel here, there, and everywhere, then it might be a little bit tough. But if you have your own car or if you live in a city that's relatively easy to get around with a good transport system, then I would say that this is definitely an option for you. My decision to do this was actually inspired by Brandon Carter, who's another YouTuber who I look up to, where he was talking about how he worked four jobs at a time. I don't know what age he was when he was working four jobs, but I think he would have been in his mid to late 20s. And so one of his jobs was personal trainer. And then he was a security guard at a, was it the Prada store? I think it was a Prada store in New York. And then after working at the Prada store, he would then in the afternoons shift furniture and work for a moving company or something like that. And then at nighttime, he would film the YouTube videos for his channel. And on the weekends, he worked at a barbecue restaurant or something, which is crazy, but he did it. And look where he is now. So if you weigh everything up and you think it aligns with where you want to be, then by all means, a second job might be what you're looking for. Thank you guys. And I'll catch you on the next episode of the Path to Prosperity.